I think advertising essentially, the persuasion part of advertising, is going to be the same a hundred years from now. Because the man with talent will be able to persuade and the man without talent won't, no matter how much knowledge you bring to him, no matter what mechanical devices you have. We have a great television complex in our offices now. We've moved and we were able to take advantage of all the new inventions. But I've got to tell you that those new inventions aren't going to cre uh, create a great new idea. And I keep telling that to our people. That little thing sitting by yourself and getting an idea is far more important than all the technology in the world. Welcome back Better Agents, Nicholas Harris coming to you live from Better Agency HQ. And in today's video, we're chatting about all things ChatGPT. Here in this video, I'm gonna give you some creative ways that you can use ChatGPT inside of your insurance agency to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to your marketing efforts. But I'm also gonna give you my opinion on why I think ChatGPT isn't the magical band-aid or the silver bullet that a lot of people are making it out. Stay tuned. Now I wanna start off by reading one of my favorite marketing quotes by Bill Bernbach, who was a marketer and a copywriter in the 1960s. And this quote's gonna be important and I'll explain more in just a little bit. But Bill said it like this. He said, creativity is the last unfair advantage we're legally allowed to take over our competitors. Now I want you to remember this quote as we get into the video because we're gonna come right back to it and it's gonna provide a ton of context for this entire discussion. Here are some tactical ways that you can use chat GPT today in your insurance agency. The first thing that you can do is you can use it to write your social media posts. You can simply go to chat GPT and you can ask it a question like, why should people use an independent insurance agent when shopping for insurance? Chat GPT is going to bring back some answers for you. It's gonna bring back a fully written post that you can use. In fact, you can even summarize it. You can tell it to write it in two paragraphs or write it in one sentence or write it like a fourth grader wrote it so that people understand But it's really good at essentially writing this content for you that you can copy and paste directly onto Facebook, directly onto LinkedIn. You can ask it a number of different questions. You can have it phrased in the voice of somebody like Joe Rogan or whoever that you wanna do this for, and you can really write and get a lot of this content out at scale really easily, really effectively. You can do this every single day. This is a great example of how ChatGPT is gonna help you. It really removes the barrier and removes the excuse that people have when they say, I don't know what to write about. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to make it compelling. I don't know how to make this interesting. This is gonna really be an effective tool that you can utilize and you can start writing content on a regular basis. Another great way that you can use ChatGPT is in your email marketing. A lot of people tell me they struggle with writing good emails. What is a good email? What does an email say? How do I say it? How long should it be? How often should I send it? All of those questions and a lot of them can be answered by utilizing a tool like ChatGPT. You can go into it and you can say, write an email discussing why it's important that they have their auto and home insurance together with the same carrier. You can do all those things. You can solicit and do email marketing and you can rely on ChatGPT to write a lot of your email campaigns. And the more that you use it, the better it's going to be. Now, of course, you're gonna to need to audit these campaigns and the things and the results that come back. You're gonna to need to go through with a fine tooth comb. You don't need to worry so much about grammar because it's utilizing essentially perfect grammar by utilizing the natural language processing capabilities that it has. But you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go through that. You wanna audit it a little bit and you wanna make sure that the email copy that you're coming out with is good. One really good use case for chat GPT is it will allow you to repurpose some of the existing content that you already have. And here's a little secret. You can even take other people's content and you can repurpose that. So if you're really struggling on where to begin or what to do, find a really good piece of content and use a tool like ChatGPT to repurpose it. Simply copy and paste all of the text that you find in your article that you've written already or in somebody else's article, put it into ChatGP and allow the, the machine learning or the AI to reword it. You can tell it and give it specific instructions on how to repurpose this. You could take content that you've made for video and you can put it into a blog article. You could take comments that you've put on social media and you can write an email sequence out of that. You can take all of this original content that hopefully you're already creating and you can use chat GPT and the machine to repurpose it, to restructure it and to make it formidable for other platforms like LinkedIn or Facebook or email or text. You can tell it to write it in one sentence or to summarize it. It's a really great tool that's gonna allow you to essentially 
you know, take the content that you have and to make it suitable for other platforms and for other forms of distribution. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nick, chat GPT is gonna be a game changer for me. This is gonna allow me to create content for my agency in ways that I've never been able to create content before. I'm gonna be able to mass produce at scale content for all the social platforms, my email, all of my marketing, my ads, whatever it might be, my blog posts. And for that, you're not wrong. Chat GPT is gonna be a game changer for so many people out there. It's gonna take people who really struggle creating content and it's gonna give them really this it's like steroids. It's gonna make it so that you're able to mass produce this stuff and you're gonna be able to do it every single day, whether it's for your website, whether it's for social media, whether it's for your email marketing, it's gonna be a game changer. However, I wanna give you the cautionary tale and hearken you back to what Bill Birnbach said and it's how we opened up this video. Bill Birnbach said it like this, that creativity is the last unfair advantage we're legally allowed to take over our competitors. The thing that chat GPT or, or any of these automation AI machine learning platforms will not be able to do for you is they aren't going to make you more creative. They're not gonna be able to give you the nuance in creativity. I believe that the way that you stand out, because I think a lot of people are gonna start utilizing these and it's gonna be the norm. The way that you're gonna stand out is that you're gonna have to be more creative. You're gonna see a lot of content coming from a lot of people and the information age that we're already in is only gonna become more saturated. The way that you stand out is by utilizing tools like this to be more creative. Think of creative ways to tell stories, to connect with your customers, to build relationships, the machine learning can be great, it's a wonderful tool, but it's not gonna make the relationship for you. It's not gonna be something that you can just delegate your creativity 100% to. Your creativity in your marketing is gonna be what makes you stand out from the sea of sameness of all of this machine learning and all of this content. Now I also wanna say for the record that I've never wanted to be that guy in the industry that was poo-pooing on all the technology. I felt like as I was coming up in the insurance industry that there were just a ton of people who were dogging technology. They felt it as some sort of threat to them. They didn't want to utilize it. They just thought about the way that they've done business for 30 years and by God, that was going to be the way that business was going to be going forward. We were never going to change. We were never going to evolve and there's still some element of that. I never wanted wanted to be that guy. I think tools like ChatGPT can be wonderful. They could be awesome, incredible tools if they're used in the right way. But I don't think that this is something that's going to necessarily be a, a replacement for everything that you're doing. You still have to put the work in. You still have to be creative. You still have to connect with customers, build relationships. This is how business will always be done. But these tools are going to allow you to do this in a way that a lot of people, frankly, struggled with. They just never could do it. They were they were relying and paying lots of money for these other services or these other marketing platforms or, 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 or providers and agencies. At the end of the day, technology like this should help you. It should allow you to implement but the biggest struggle that a lot of people are gonna have is they're gonna create a ton of content and they're not gonna have any idea on how to distribute it. Content creation is only one part of the variable. It doesn't matter how much content you make, what matters is how you distribute it, how you get it into the hands of the people who are going to consume that content. It's like that old saying goes, if a tree falls in the woods but no one is there to hear it, I, I think it's something like that. The point is, is, just because you make content, that doesn't mean that all of your marketing problems are solved. You still have to figure out a way to distribute that content, to get it into the hands of the people that want to consume it, that find it interesting, that find it compelling. And that is going to be where you need to focus on. Your machine learning platforms, they haven't yet figured out a way to say, now you need to send this content in this way and that way and repurpose it and send it this way. And that is still something that you're going to have to do. You are still going to have to take that bull by the horns and figure out how you're going to distribute it, how you're going to repurpose it, how you're gonna take a piece of content that you made once and distribute it forever on multiple platforms. That is gonna be what you need to figure out next.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video. It helps us out tremendously here on YouTube. And comment down below. I'd like to know how you're utilizing ChatGPT or any of the other marketing automation copy tools that are utilizing AI, machine learning, all the buzzwords. Comment down below. Let us know what you're using and how you're using it. And we'll see you again on the next video.